Okay, guys, so there you have it. There's the Raphael prayer. Raphael. Ha. Anyway, uh, so this is the one thing that, that I've always used. I've always used this prayer, and a lot of times I've used it on people who have had attachments or they've had curses or they've had hexes put upon them. Uh, there's many, many different ways of removing attachments, okay? Um, and there's lots, sometimes you got to do lots of different things, okay? So what I do is I do all the work I need for to uh, get rid of the attachment. And as soon as that's done, I do the Raphael prayer to ensure. Uh, it's just like a little extra piece of insurance, right? To help get rid of anything. And on top of that, uh, it helps to rejuvenate and to heal uh, the person that you're helping, okay? Or yourself, if you feel like you've been cursed or something, you say this prayer and it helps to, to cleanse that. So that's how it's used in an investigation tool or in a um, shaman or nature druid or pastor tool. So anyway, feel free to use that whenever you need. If you got an attachment uh, and you've had a hard time or if you still have one that you're having a hell of a time getting rid of, give this a try, all right? All right, and so until next time, blessings. Oh, and next time we will be discussing well, there's Psalms 23, but everybody knows that, so we'll skip that. Uh, we're going to do the Life Giver's Prayer. Uh, we'll be next. And, um, yeah. So you guys like that. Uh, it's about Father Sky, Mother Earth, and so on and so forth. So uh, it's a very good prayer, and it's very helpful. Okay, so we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.